Hey, what's going on guys? Arax here. I'm the Monster Hunter World Iceborne Beta running both this weekend and next, so I thought it'd be handy to put together some quick guides going over the new moves for each weapon. How to use them, what they do, basically everything you need to know to dive in and get started. I'll be doing one of these for each weapon, so keep it locked and be sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss the other videos. Of course, if you do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated and be sure to let me know what you want to see next. But in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the other Mighty Morphing Power Ranger, I mean, weapon, the other Mighty Morphing weapon, the Switch Axe. Now the Switch Axe in Iceborne has had some really great additions, most notably to the lesser used Axe Mode. In the past, Axe Mode was often used primarily as a stopgap between Sword Mode, as a means to just get you back into Sword so you can carry on dishing out big damage. But in Iceborne, we now have some really great reasons to use Axe 2. Firstly, let's start with the flashy new move, the Heavy Slam. If you begin by pressing circle to perform the wild swing, after a couple of swings you'll notice this glow. At this point, you can then press triangle to perform the overhead heavy slam. Not only is this a strong attack in itself, but in doing this you also power up the axe. You can notice that by the little glowing segment on the UI. In this powered up state, it now makes it even easier to flinch monsters, so if you're trying to create that big opening, this could be a great way to go about that. Also, something else that makes this great is the way that it works with the new Slinger Burst. See, in the past, Wild Swing wasn't used too much since it A drains stamina and B leaves you a little bit vulnerable, but now, now we have a great escape option. Following a Wild Swing, provided you have Slinger ammo, you can press L2 to perform a Slinger Burst, but this one will see you jump backwards and evade, so now it takes a move that potentially leaves you open and gives you a great evasive option. You can also work Slinger Burst in after some other axe attacks, not all of them, but following the forward slash or the side slash, it also works too. But we're not done yet, Axe has one more trick up its sleeve, another great mobility option, a new Fade Slash. Following a triangle attack in Axe, you can press back and circle to perform this Fade Slash which again draws you back a good distance, pair that with the Axe's already good mobility, and this mode just got a whole lot better. However, if we then turn our attention to Sword Mode, for the most part the core combos here remain the same, the main new move comes off the back of the Element Discharge. See, whilst performing an element discharge with triangle and circle, you can then press L2 to perform a claw shot. This will interrupt your element discharge and see you grapple onto the monster. Now, this in itself is useful. You can see this as another escape option, plus whilst grappled you have a number of options. However, if whilst grappling you go into the amped state, you'll then go right from the grapple into an amped element discharge. It's worth noting that whilst grappled, it increases file output, making it easier to go into the amped state. So whereas in the past, you'd invariably wait till you were amped before initiating this move, so as to pull off the mount, now you can start it early, grapple, and finish it off on the monster. Of course, outside of that, you can simply grapple onto the monster and press triangle for your weapon specific attack. Doing this will leave visible scarring on the monster and create a weak point, so attacking this location after that will deal more damage. But that my friends is pretty much it for the time being. Again remember that I'll be doing a full set of new in-depth weapon tutorials for Iceborne's launch, but for now this should give you what you need to get started this weekend. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.